Hi, are you a fitness professional and you're wanting to move your business forwards, but not quite sure if you're ready for a coach? 100% you're in the right place. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to know when you are ready for a coach to help you move forwards in your business. My name is Katie Cannon, Director of Gold Medal Coaching. And what do I do and what do I help people to do? I help people in the fitness profession to build their dream business, to build their business, to fill their gyms and their classes, and to develop their classes and businesses to the next level. So thank you so much for joining me. If you are brand new to my channel, please do subscribe because each week I add some awesome value for you guys on really top marketing strategies and fitness tips in, in terms of helping you move your business forwards. I work with lots of people from all different levels, from startup businesses to people who have been running 10, 15, 20 years in the fitness industries, from people working, building studio classes to people running their own gyms in adults and children. So it's a really, really, really diverse. So obviously this is episode one and I'm bringing this to you fresh from my holiday that I've just come off. You can see I've got a little bit of tan marked here. Um, but I wanted to share this episode as the first one because I think it's so important because my journey started as an entrepreneur 10 years ago and I actually got a business coach right out the gate because I believed that I had, as a British champion gymnast, for those who are brand new and said who might not know my background, I was a British champion gymnast for five years and, you know, sometimes it's an extra expense, I get it, when you're starting your business, but it. As a coach, if you think of as a gymnastic career or a sport career or anything you might be doing, you always need someone to hold your hand and to help you. And I really believe business is no different. We all need a coach, whether it's a personal trainer to get you fit, whether it's someone to help you with your business, whether it's someone to help you with your eating, whether it's someone that's mentoring your child better with their maths, coaching them with their maths and English. The same concept, we all need a coach. So how do you know when you're ready for a coach in your business is the question that we're discussing today and then I want to share some great training with you. So I've got a couple of tips that I'm going to share with you. My first one is you'll know when you have a burning desire to start your own business. So let's say you're a brand new entrepreneur and you're wanting to build your own business in this amazing industry, but you have no clue where to start. That is the first point. So you've got that burning desire and you need someone. You've got that idea. And one of the biggest things that I see all the time in my clients is they have so many amazing ideas and so much value and service to give to amazing clients, but they have no clue where to start. And then they procrastinate. And then a year down the line that I see them again and they're in the same position because they haven't taken that, that big jump and that big leap to start their business. And that is where a business mentor can really, really help you to move yourself forwards and just to get that clarity and that focus. And to be quite honest, just, just get out of your head because we all know we can overcomplicate and confuse some situations. And before we know it, we've done nothing with it because we've made it too complicated. So that's the first one. You have a burning desire to start your own business, but you need that guidance. You need someone to hold your hand and to show you the ropes. The second point is you have got yourself up and running, but you need the next step. You, you kind of got yourself as, as far as you possibly can with your business. And you find that you need that fresh inspiration, that fresh motivation. You might be hitting six figures a year and wanting to move to seven. You might be currently in your business and cannot get out your business and need a bit of an escape route to give you that freedom and that time back that you really, really crave. And again, that fresh inspiration, that fresh then fresh little eyes um, can open up so much. One of my experiences when I started with my coach, and I still work today, day, a weekly with a coach. I, you ch I change it up depending what I want to focus on. At the minute, for example, I'm just going to share a bit of personal experience here with you. When I first started, 
and this is where I start with all my clients to start with. It was very much learning how to build a business, like ideal client, a business plan, learning how to finance into cash flow, you know, real, the, the basics, which where I was at, that was really mind blowing stuff at the beginning. Fast forward 10 years, I now work with marketing strategists and I have sort of personal development coaches. So they're, they're helping me in different ways. So it's something that a coach is going to grow with you at whatever part of your journey you are. Okay. So it's getting yourself up and running and that coach to help you move from wherever you are. So that's the point number two I want to, just, to share with you is you might already be established and think, well, how can a coach help me? I've been running my business for 20 years. But we all know if you carry on doing the same thing, you get the same result. And it's that fresh look, that fresh eyes and that fresh guidance that will make all the difference. For me, when I changed up my strategy, um, my business doubled from working with my coach within six months because I needed that fresh approach. So it's really important there. Um, number three, one of the, I love this one. It can sometimes be lonely being an entrepreneur. And I hear this so much and I can really relate to this at times. You know, being an entrepreneur is incredible, but it can be lonely, can't it? You know, sometimes you're, you're in your own office, sometimes at home. I was just gonna say, I work from my home office, but, Sometimes you're in your own head and when the going's good, it's good. But when it's not going good, you need that support. You need that guidance. You need someone to lean on. You need someone to help get through the obstacles and shed light that you can't see. Because when you're so into something, it's like, you know, like it's a bit like being in love, isn't it? <laughs> I use this analogy. I love analogies. Um, it's like being in love. And let's say that the guy you're with is, is not the greatest one for you talking from experience here and you're so in love with this person but all your family and friends can see he's not good for you but you can't see it because love is blind business is the same so in business you're like oh my god i've got to do this idea this is amazing um why is all oh, i'm implementing this marketing strategy why is it not working i'm throwing all my money at it and sometimes it just takes that person to come in stand by your side and guide you along the way so that you don't feel lonely in making all the decisions by yourself. I always recommend this as a massive one. I never had a business partner. Um, I love business partners. I think they're great for different things, especially if you're wanting business partners to invest into your business. It depends what they're bringing to your company. I'm going to do another episode in that, on that in the future, but just you know, it can be just good for that extra support and guidance. So number four, this kind of rolls off a little bit of what we've been sharing with you so far is you wanted to bounce ideas off each other. Um, it's really important because your ideas in your head aren't always the best ones and you need to share it with someone who understands your business. And that's key. You know, sometimes I, I have conversations with people and I say well I'm just going to have a business mentor for one or two weeks get them to just get my website up and running or share my ideas and just get the basics under my belt no 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 you know it's like anything it's like starting at the gym and going for two weeks and expecting results you've got to build that relationship you've got to build that that continue I can't say this word continuum continuum to see you know, whatever that word is, the continuous, I'm going to just go with that one, the continuous flow. And then when it comes to, you're fine when you've been working with someone for a good couple of months, they get you so well and they get your business so well, it actually starts to move even quicker. Because when you come up with ideas, it moves, they, we can, you can go through them, you can implement them, and you can put them into your business straight away. So the last one I want to share with you is you'll always know when you're ready for a coach is when you're coachable, you're eager to learn, you want it, like you want it like yesterday and you're ready to move forward. I'm like this, I'm like a sponge. I love hanging, they say surround yourself with the most top five people in your world um, that are gonna help you move forwards. Because most people, you, you stay in the same circles and you get, you're the average of the five people you spend your time with. So having that business mentor, is really going to push you forwards. And I am, like I said, like a sponge. I cannot learn fast enough. I want every book. I want every course. I want to really, really have so much knowledge. I, can't, I love learning. Sometimes that can be a good thing 
because the focus can go, so, sorry, that can be a good thing, but something can be a bad thing. You want to keep that focus. And that's where a coach will help you with focusing on the areas that you need to work on. So when you're coach form ready to learn, you'll be wanting to take the action from the coach and who's trying to help you in move forwards. And why that's important, you're probably thinking, that's cool, Katie, that's quite obvious, isn't it? Not always. I've worked with some people where they're not always open to moving forwards or open to new ideas to help them get from A to B or to, they're quite reluctant to make change. And, you know, you can only work with a coach if you're open to that opportunity, you're open to moving forwards and you're wanting that change. Um, and you're, you're open to someone to come in and we get it. It's your baby. It's your love. You know, whether you're starting your business or you've got a developed business, it's hard to let someone in, but that's very important when you're being coached. So guys, there we have it for episode one. Um, how to know when you're ready for a coach in your business. So just to recap some of the things we've talked about, one, having that burning desire to move forwards, two, getting yourself up and running and moving to that next level, three, it can be lonely as an entrepreneur, four, become, bounce ideas off each other, number five, be coachable in your business. And that, my friends, is when you know you're ready for a coach to help you supersize your business. So please get, I popped a wicked download for you in today's episode for you, which is basically my masterclass of how to really develop your business and your ideal client and to really, really start and develop your business in the fitness world. So make sure you get your hands on that because that is epic. It's such an awesome, it's one of my best piece of work that I love. Um, and it's a great masterclass that will really, really help you and install some great ideas and some just light bulb moments um, as you're going through it. So thank you so much for joining me. I said, if you love this channel, please subscribe because I'm going to be delivering wicked content to you each week, every Monday. It comes without fail. Hold me accountable to that. And um, I look forward to seeing you on episode two. Have an awesome week, guys. Bye.